Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael Belseric. If you don't know, I make YouTube videos about everything and anything about my life. And today's just a Friday. My daughters are with their mom, so it's just myself and... Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Kristen. And today we are going to take you throughout the day. We're going to bake a cake today and we're going to go to Bash's real quick. So that's where we got this chocolate milk, not chocolate milk, what is this? Hot chocolate mix. And we'll take you to Bash's real quick. And here are the clips. We went to Bash's. Are you excited to I'm eat? I'm hungry. Starving. He's like super, I don't know. When he gets hungry, it's like a whole other person just comes out. I have no energy. Yeah. At so. All. It so. is almost 1 o'clock. I've been up since 7 and I haven't even eaten. Why is she 8? What did I text you? Like 9. Nine. Well, it's up before then. But like, we're not up. Like, officially up. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Had to get our strawberries. And we got hot chocolate for later on, too. Let's go. Here, cake mix, cake mix, cake mix, cake mix. Here, cake mix, cake mix. That's hard to say. <laughs> like fast? You try saying that five times. Yeah, cake mix, cake mix, cake mix, cake mix, cake mix. I thought you were making it from scratch. Well, That's it's semi-scratch. We're gonna cheat today. You'll see. Trust me, it will be worth it. Grab your cake mix of your whichever cake mix that you want. In this particular one, we're making strawberry cake. We're gonna drive, grab this one. Oh, I need jello mix. Oh, I need vegetable oil because I don't have vegetable oil. Oh man, all right, we gotta find it. Um, over here. Right here. Never skip out on the off-brand Jello mix. You want to get the real Jello. I was just gonna say, why don't you just get this one? Who's making the cake? Me or you? I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's not no. kidding. He's not kidding. Okay. No, but yes. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm gonna explain why. You want to use this particular one just because of the portion size. I know this is the right portion. That one's a little bit smaller, and I'm not a good person with like baking and what in particular. But I do know that this is the right portion size, and this is the only one I've used. It's just like when you drink Shasta and Coke. You know that Coke's Coke, and Shasta is just there to be there. Really, there's nothing wrong with Shasta. There's nothing wrong with Shasta, but if I want Coke, I'm gonna get Coke. Okay. And if I want root beer, I'm gonna get root beer. I'm not gonna get this like other stuff. But if you do have it at your parties, I'm still gonna drink it. I'm just saying my personal little taste buds want the real stuff. Okay. I'm not bougie either. <laughs> eggs. We need eggs. You only need two eggs, but I'm grabbing six for now. The infamous Bashes lines that last forever. All right, we're all done. We got everything we, we need. We almost forgot the frosting. We got everything we need. <laughs> I ran back and got the frosting. Ow. And I'm also carrying all the groceries, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, she grabbed it quickly and walked out. If you know anything, she won't let me carry stuff and all that kind of stuff because she's like, let me carry it. And Where did I get we in park? trouble for not carrying it now. What did we park? What the? <laughs> Where did we park? Right here. Okay. Jeez. Jeez. All right, guys. So as you saw, we just got back from Bashers. We're going to go ahead and do the first step for making this cake. And that is making sure that we have enough strawberries cut up. It adds this recipe that I have in my head. It's just a recipe that I looked up about a year ago, maybe two years ago. I don't know, a while ago. But the girls were wanting some cake 
and I looked the recipe up and it said strawberries. So I said, all right, let's do that. First thing you need is a pint of strawberries. I'm guessing this is a pint. It could be more, it could be less, but this is what I used and it turned out good. So that's what we're gonna use. All you do is to cut these up quickly. They don't have to be neat or anything like that because you're gonna smash these at the end and it's going to go inside the cake mix because like, oh buddy, <laughs> like I said before, we're gonna cheat and we're gonna use a cake mix even though Kristen thought it was gonna be from scratch. When it comes to um, baking, I am not an expert. I just know enough to follow instructions and that is it. And you put everything in a box, it's going to do well. So, a rough cut, doesn't really matter because they're gonna get smashed up pretty soon. All right, so then Michael told me, he told me to tell you guys this. You're gonna go ahead and put some sugar in there. Well, we debated on putting this in, but we decided ultimately we're going to. Half of this, this is half. Okay, just throw it in there. Then you close this, and you close this. You close this. And then you squish it. Well, first we get all the air out. That won't really work that well. Okay. And then you squish it. So it's ready to not be squished anymore. All right, guys. So Kristen did a wonderful job at smushing these things. As you can see, there's consistencies where there's a little bit of like strawberry puree kind of stuff but it's liquefied enough to where when you mix it into something it will stay liquefied so that's the consistency you're looking for almost like a strawberry uh, puree-ish kind of thing so that's that now we're going to use our cake mix you're going to go ahead and mix your cake your dry ingredients and that's what the recipe says to do we're not using this because there's other ingredients added to it so those instructions are not going to work on this particular cake. Don't use your teeth, but I use my teeth. So you're gonna take the cake mix, do one of these, you know, shake it all about. So that's in there, put that to the side. You're gonna take your Jello mix, strawberry mix, as you can see. I don't know if I mentioned this in the past, but you want to make sure that you use the Jello brand and not an off brand because I find the two times that I made it that the consistency comes out better when you use the Jello, the Jello, the actual Jello brand. Is it Jello's the brand, right? Mm -hmm. So this brand, the the original brand, and like the off brand, uh, just the consistency of the cake comes out better. So. Okay, this is six ounces. You want to use about three to four ounces. So it's about half of this, maybe about two thirds of this. So now that's all mixed. I need to know one thing. Let me grab my phone and I have my recipe on there. All right, so as you can see, this is my ingredients and everything that I need. There's 21 steps that I have to follow in order to make the perfect strawberry cake. That's gonna be the title of this video. 21 steps to the perfect strawberry cake. It's kinda of catchy, huh? <laughs> but like I said, this is the recipe. I'll link all of this down below as well so that you guys can have it. Whoa. So that you guys can have it. Remember, do not, do not, do not go off of this because this is not going to be the same cooking time and stuff that it's gonna be with all the extra ingredients, okay? We need We need an egg. Got the eggs. You want to be able to preheat your oven to 350, and that's what I just did right now as I was getting the measuring cup for the oil. But 350, and that's going to cook for 30 minutes to 33 minutes. Let's go ahead and put the oil in. One cup of vegetable oil. 
Boop boop. Boop boop. Put that there. Close this bad boy. Put that back over there. And then the stirring begins. All right, so the next thing you need to do is get your pan. Get yourself some of this baking spray. Baker's Joy, the original no stick baking spray with flour. Yeah, spray your pan. Go ahead and pour your mixture in. Mm-hmm. Waiting game now. Okay, so we put the cake in the oven and we let it bake or whatever. And we let it drop, dry. We let it cool down. So now it's cooled, and now we're gonna put the frosting on there. We got vanilla frosting. I'm just gonna, oh, I might need a little bit. Oh, that's good. And then for, cause I don't know if we're that serious at Baker's, we're just using a butter knife, but anything will work. So, yep, go like this. Cover it all, decorate it how you want. And then we're gonna cut up the strawberries next to them and I think put it more on top. All right, guys, so we just got done. Well, Kristen just got done whipping this thing back into decent shape because it was all clumpy and stuff when I did it. <laughs> so we're going to take the strawberries that she cut and we're going to go ahead and place them on here. Should we place them this way or this way? We're going to do it like that. Okay. Then you can go ahead and place them. We're going to go ahead and do thirds. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. All right, there you go. You got a strawberry cake. Those steps will be all listed down below for you guys to follow along. And yeah, that's all you, let me know. We're gonna go ahead and let this sit for a while. Any last words before we cut it? No. No? All right. Thank you for watching guys. Thank you for everything that you've done. I hope you guys had a good Christmas, holidays, whatever you celebrate. We hope that you had a good one. Go ahead and follow me on all my social media. Once again, all the ingredients and all that kind of stuff will be listed, be listed below for this uh, cake that we made. And we'll have another one coming out pretty soon. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. We're gonna... Can you go back and do what you were doing earlier? No. Please? Never! All right guys, so the first thing that we... I always tell people, do what you can do, you can improve on that. But if you can't do it, there's no reason to try. I just made that up. I don't really say that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those 21 steps. 21 steps to bliss. <laughs> Here we go. Wait, do that again because I couldn't see it. Cinco. Cinco de mayo. What is that cinco de mayo? It's cuatro. Cuatro. I was like, wait a minute, that's five. Oops. You want to preheat your oven to 350. That's what I just...